Darcy Zolman from the Kosciuszko County Soil and Water Conservation District. Today we're going to talk about benthic macroinvertebrates. So I know that's a long term, but if you break it down, benthic means bottom dwelling, things that live at the bottom of the water. Macro is big enough that I can see it with my eyes and I don't need a microscope. And invertebrate means I don't have a backbone. So what we're going to talk about today basically are insects that live in the water and what they tell us. So when we sample for benthic macroinvertebrates in the water, we hope to get a nice diversity or a lot of different kinds of insects. So why do we sample for them? Well, they tell us a lot about water quality. Some of the insects that live in the water have to have really clean water or they're not going to be there. Some of the insects don't have to have such clean water, and that might be the only thing we find. But the sign of a really healthy stream is a diversity, or a lot of different kinds of things, that live in the water. So we're going to do an activity, or a game today, to help you understand what can be in the water, and how do we collect data as good scientists, and then how do we interpret that data to tell us something about water quality. So to do the activity today, let's look at the supplies you're going to get. You'll get a bag with some pictures of insects in it. You'll also get a data sheet. We'll use this to calculate um, our index and figure out what the data is telling us. So to start the activity today, in your bag, we want you to pull out 10 randomly insects out of your bag. Find a container at home you can put it in. It can be a bowl or a box or some other container. So I'm going to pull out my 10 and put them in my container. Now I need to figure out what I've got here and then what does it tell me. So as you do this, you'll pull out each insect. For example, this is the mayfly. So I'll start grouping them together. Any other mayflies I have in my bowl, I'll put with the mayflies. So I'll have different stacks for each insect that I have pulled out of my bag. So we pulled our insects out and sorted them into groups. This is what we pulled out of our sampling bag. Ironically, we have one of each of the insects that were in the bag. Now what do these tell us? We're, we're going to use this poster up here to help us identify them and to understand what kind of pollution tolerance each of these insects have. So if we look at group one, we notice that they are very intolerant to pollution. That means they have to have really clean water. As we move down the poster, each group can tolerate less quality water. So by the time we get down here to the bottom at group four, they can live in really bad water if they have to. They're also happy to live in clean water. Let's do a calculation based on the insects that you pulled out of your bag. We want to look at this data sheet that was included in your packet. What you'll do is you'll put a check mark by each of the insects that you pulled. So group ones are here, twos, threes, and fours. You don't have to put the number of ones you found, but just put a check mark by the ones that you did find. Then we're going to do some calculating. So this is an example of the data sheet that you'll be using. So let's look and do an example of what your sample might have looked like. So we'll look at group one first. Let's say you pulled out some stoneflies and some mayflies. So that's two different things you found in group one. So then we go down here, number of checks, one, two. So we'll put two there. Because they're group ones, they get to score more points than any of the other groups. So they have a weighting factor here of four. Four times two is eight. So we'll put the eight right here. All right, let's look at group two. Let's say we found some dragonflies and some scuds. 
So again, we found one, two different things. We put the two here. Our weighting factor here is a three. So two times three is six. Then we'll move to group three. Midges or leeches? Let's say we found lots of leeches today. So we only found one thing. So our number of checks here is only a one. Our weighting factor is two. Two times one is two. Then we come to group four. Pouch snails or the worms. Let's say we found worms today. Again, only one, one check. The weighting factor is one, so that math is easy. One times one is one. Then we're going to add the numbers across the bottom. The eight, the six, the two, and the one. So eight and six is 14, plus two is 16, plus one is 17. So we'll put our total score here. 17. Then we look at how we interpret that data. So if we look here, 17 is in the potentially good water quality. So I suspect all of you doing this are going to have different ratings. It'll be fun to compare what you found with your, it will be fun to compare what you found with your classmates.